Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's talk about what a function is. Okay, a function is a rule with an input and an output, like a machine. And notationally, we kind of think of having a name for the machine. It doesn't have to be F, but commonly it is for, for function. It could be G, H, or any number of things. So that's the name of the function. Then we have an input slot. Something goes into the function right here. And then, and then we wanna know what comes out of the function. So maybe we have some kind of a expression, algebraic expression or rule. It doesn't have to be an expression. It can just be, but it could be any number of things. But in this class, it'll mainly be expressions. Um, some kind of algebraic expression, which represents what the output is. When whatever's input is replaced for the variable in question. So for instance, if we have notationally f of x, where x represents the input, it's just a placeholder, um, is equal to x squared plus x, let's think about what that means. We plug something in, like two, and what comes out? You put two in for where x is. So this is the rule of what to do with x. You square it, then add it to, and then add x. So this becomes two squared plus two, which would be six. So it's a rule of going from input to output, and it needs to be a well-defined rule. Functions don't necessarily have to be described by formulas. They can be described by pictures. If we suppose that y coordinates represent outputs and x coordinates represent inputs, let's come up with a very simple function with two points. Maybe this is one and one and maybe this is three and two. This is a function. How so? Well, if we take the input one, we know what output to give it. One. If I give the, out, the input three, I know what output to give it. Two. This is a function. Now, what if I drew a picture like this? Would this be a function anymore? Well, given the input one, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to output. It's ambiguous. This would not be a function. In general, we need, if we have points in the plane and assembled together, if they represent a function, we cannot have points that are vertically apart from each other. Oftentimes their functions are so many points that they make a curve or a line of some kind. And we don't want this line to curve back like this. Then for this particular X value, there'd be more than one possible output and that wouldn't work. That would not describe a well, that would not be a well-defined function. I wouldn't know what output to choose. So that would not be a function. There's a rule. If I draw vertical lines through my function or my curve and it ever, even once does this, it's not a well-defined function. Thanks for watching.